America's Card Room is the largest U.S. facing poker site. For the latest deposit bonus, click the link in the description. And to watch poker live and grow your game, check out twitch.tv slash pokerpastor and subscribe to this channel. I feel a fold coming. <laughs> and I did fold. <clears throat> I don't hate. I don't hate it against the Rays. Look at. I mean, he's playing every hand. Yeah. So. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, we're not gonna do anything with the Ace Five there. I'm wondering if you adjust to him at some point. But again, like a really good player could play a big percentage of hands if they're winning the blinds a big enough percentage of the time. Like on Iggy, I guarantee you, Iggy, that eleven dollar AK you play, I guarantee you, I've had those kind of stats when we yeah. get the money. <coughs> Excuse me. Because you'll go around the table, you'll raise five times, you'll win three, and you're profiting every orbit. Right. So this this spot, I remember. Right. I remember thinking, I am in early position. The whole table has got to be worried about this guy going nuts. This is a spot where I'm not going to get any pushback from anybody but this guy. Okay. So I'm going to take a shot at it. All right. I, so like I, that. I think that's outside the box in a good way. And I got the I, I took it down, which nice. which is perfect. Which is I'm happy with that. I don't think I opened now. Yeah. I assume your your three betting are a little fun guy. If uh, if he opens, if he opens one of the there, guy. yeah, oh yeah, yeah good, I would have good, good, good. I would have three bet him. So you get three pit, three piece here. Not a lot of hands, but very very few hands played. I think I'm just gonna end up folding this one. Yeah, I'm folding against 100 percent of people here. Oh, and that makes it easy. That yep. that one makes it real easy. Let me remember what they had: queens versus ace king. Yep. yep. <clears throat> oh, we liked Pilo Aha. He made. The hand's interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> this is one of those, I got to check. I got to click through it and make sure I didn't see what I did here. Because I probably would have opened this if it folded to me. Right. Bank. Uh, not a lot of hands, but he C bets. He's got two hands where he C bet. So, oh, this this guy. Sorry, wrong guy. I'm looking at the wrong guy. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to bet here, mostly because there's a ton of cards on the turn that I don't like, and I want to realize my equity now. Yep. So what are you sizing without looking at it? What should you be sizing here? What should I be sizing? Probably. I would pro if I'm thinking about it. What what almost certainly I did was I clicked the half pot button. Right. But my guess is forty percent is where I would prefer to size it. Based um, on what? But based on, um, basically thin value. I'm trying to get thin value here. Um, but now that I'm thinking about this, I should size it bigger. If I'm really trying to get a fold, I should size it bigger. So maybe sixty six percent. So, and, and again, I've just started doing this. So I'm, this is very new to me. But, like, my gut here is I'm going for the two-thirds sizing for a couple reasons. One, I don't think you're really going to have any fives or threes in his range. So I don't think we're, we're trying to get calls from that part of his range there. Um, so at this point, like, I'm betting to protect against jacks, kings, you know, better cards that could hit the turn like you're talking about. Um, and, <laughs> and flush draws. We, we don't want to give his flush draw a cheap a cheap way to get there. Um, the other thing is like, if I was here with a hand like ace queen of hearts, I also want to bet two thirds. Cause now if he does have like middle pocket pairs or something like now we're trying to get those to fold out. So right, like, right, right. so like, I think on both sides, we're balancing by, uh, by betting the two thirds sizing here. So I, I like like a 12, like a, like a 12 K bet here or a check. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, you know, there's something about doing this in total public to hey. your 24 hours and my three. <laughs> Listen, we will um, we will do one of these in reverse sometime. Um, we we need to do one of these reverse, and I promise you, you will find as many spots, and it'll be great. Maybe maybe you can review my Millie. We'll set that up sometime and uh, and do it. Um, um, but I oh, okay yeah yeah like I sorry I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna berate myself but I'm gonna like be what the hell are you talking about? Um, Why? Uh, I don't have any comment. I don't have any feedback for you that's gonna be any um more insightful than what you've been given me. I don't I, have anywhere close to that. I have I have one question for you, really short. Don't take a lot of time to think about it. I just want you to give me a yes or a no. Would Drew agree with me? Would Drew agree with you in what? That there would be value to you reviewing one of my hand histories. He'd probably agree with you. Okay. Me. All right. So moving on. Here's, um, <laughs> here's why he'd agree with you. It doesn't matter. Different, different set of eyes, right? That doesn't mean that the analysis is better, right? Oh, but, but like you keep you keep interpreting it better and worse like based on what like it's it's a matter of like we're all we're all looking at this and we're all growing we're all getting better at practicing our, our hand analysis our hand reading like no trust me trust me you're it would be valuable for you and for me so right so i flopped um top two pair here okay. versus a now very wet board um uh so like and i put 50% in because that's what I do. I think he folds because like he checked me twice, right? right. He checked me twice. Oh, he called. I think I like a two thirds bet sizing here on the turn too. <coughs> and then this river, like, so this is another one of the spots, like how many flushes how, are in his range, right? Right. And how many aces are in his range? Well, I mean, the aces in his range are good. Um, but like, right, but but like ace queen ace 10 is double blocked right right yeah um so ace jack <clears throat> um yeah i mean but, but, but the problem is if i bet here and he rips i'm just hating life right so i would probably if he checks to me i'm probably just going to check it down because i don't want to put myself in a spot where i'm like i got um just um, blown off the best hand okay so let's back up for a second so this is where like you see where now like i mean you already knew that the check on the flop wasn't good but this is where the check on the flop magnifies things because now like we really can't interpret a lot about his range like by checking behind on the flop because like if you bet the flop and he calls right there's not very much ace jack in his range there's not very much ace king in his range there's a little bit um, right, right, right. but like now like his range is really really wide because he got to the turn for free and now, like, I mean, King Jack is now in his range. Like, like, I mean, there's, there's, there, his range is just huge here, and so we, we, like, this makes it really hard to see. Now, that being said, we, we're here. We can't change the fact that we checked on the flop, right? So you're talking about betting river and getting ripped. So, like, here is where, like, I, like, if it's me, I'm going like 35k here because I don't want him coming over the top without the nuts, mm -hmm. and I also think that there's a lot of like there's a lot of hands here that could call that are worse. So like we could get some ASEX to call us. We could get, um, I mean, we're not, I guess there's no better two pair combos, but like we could get somebody that could get sticky with like King queen. Right. And, and decide that you're like, like there, there's going to be some bluff catchers here that would call us weaker. So like right, I'm, right, going, right. I'm going really big here um, and forcing him to come over the top with like a monster hand. Um, Let's see. Buck Chatter says it's a bet fold play on the river. Right. And so if you're going to bet fold on the river, like error on the bigger side, unless you have a reason to believe like his range is just like, so do we need, so this, I thought this question goes, so do we need to expose that many chips to accomplish though? Um, I think so because we don't want to get check raised light. Like what, here's what you don't want to happen. You don't want to get check raised by ace king and ace jack here. Right. Right, 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 right. So, so let, the note here is, um, if it's a blocker bet, almost it's, it's a really weird blocker bet. Like, so the note that I'm taking is, if tempted to check down, consider big river bet to put pressure uh, on him to um, 
well, rip like, back with only the nuts. If I have like if I have ace king or ace Monsters. jack here, if I have ace king or ace jack here with the ace of hearts, <coughs> you know, like ace of hearts, king of clubs, like this is a great raise spot for me because I block the nut flush draw. I have top pair. I could be raising for value. I can rep the nut flush. I have blockers to the king jack. Like this is actually a really great raise spot, right? Like, yeah, but the thing is, he's checked to me three times now. He's checked to me three times. If he's got the nuts here. What do you mean checked you three times? You bet the turn. I bet the turn. But he checked, right? He's out of position, right? So he checked the flop. Okay. I checked the flop. He checked the turn. He he checked calls the turn and now checks the river. Right? What, what but what 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 turn and what turn and river are you donk leading in his spot? <clears throat> I'm donk leading things where I'm like, okay, if this guy is going to check back, I'm losing value, right? So I I think you have to donk lead if you have a nutted hand, right? You're going to lose value too often when I just check back. On the turn? On the river. He checked the river to me, right? If he's got ace, if he's got king jack here, or if he's well, got um, a flush and he's not be betting it. What was your bet sizing in the river? I didn't I didn't bet the river. We, we haven't seen the river oh, okay, yet. Right, right, right. We bet the turn, and he called the turn. I bet 50%, he called the turn, right? And then he checked the, checked the river to me. I guess it depends. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interpret that as I might be best here because he's – trying to pot control yeah we're getting we're getting into the deeper leveling here if he thinks you thinks i think that he thinks that yeah because like if i if i think you've got a really like what i'm gonna do in his position like if i let's say i had a hand here like i don't know let's just say i had ace 10 right like if i see you have like an 87 percent river bet like for example then i'm never betting here right like i mean and i and again we don't know if he's got a hud we don't know how he views you like there's a lot of things here but i don't think i'm betting here 100 percent of the time with the nuts so um, he's got 130. He's got 131 hands on me. So he probably have a lot of hands on you. Hands, yeah, so it's 133 a hands in this tournament, right? My bet river is zero of two. That's fair. That's fair. So like, I I mean, if that's if that's the case, then I would almost bet really thin then, right? Like, I mean, if they, like I I I would if if that's the line, then I would I would go like nine k, right? I just checked it back. I don't like a check. I won. I don't know what I won like, with. To me, like to me, it, it's one of two extremes. Yeah. So, so that's that was. I mean, that's the the situation that I was talking about, where uh, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, um, what the heck is he calling the turn with? Um, that ace. I, I'm just going to check it down and take take the pot. And I and I think I said to myself, I think I said out loud on stream, okay. Um, I'm just going to check back and take this down because I think I take this down a lot of the times. Right. Uh, but I don't want to get blown off the river, right? But that's where that's where the sizing, this is where I feel like this is another 50% pop bet spot where like you, your temptation if you're going to bet is to bet 50% and it's it's in no man's land. Like I think you can either bet like two-thirds pot here and get really aggressive and try to get called by worse or you can bet like really, really thin here so that you can call a check raise. Right, right, right. Um, like you know, I don't mind betting nine k here for value because, like, the thing is, the value. Like, you don't have to bet a big chunk for value. I mean, there was that hand uh, yesterday where, like, I got, I had a set. It was a six, seven, nine, ten board, and I bet like one fifth pot in the river and got ace high to call. Right, like you can you can bet really really thin for value. So like, if you think that he's capped here, and you're ahead of a hundred percent of his range. Then, then bet really small here and put yourself in a spot where if he does raise you, you can still call off. Okay. Um. So I mean, uh, yeah, I, I some good good analysis here. How are you doing on time? I can go as long or as little as you want. If you want to do a couple more, we can. If you need to go, if you're just like let's just party all night, like whatever you want to do. Well, I can probably go. It's almost midnight. Or it's like eleven thirty here, and I probably should for you know, job responsibility stuff, like stop sure. about midnight. Okay, that's um, good. We'll keep it rolling until you're ready to go. Wait, whoa, whoa. I had eight, four, two, and eight, two hands in a row. Look, look at that. Exact same hand, two hands in a row. 
it's gross. Brandon says, without the bet on the wet board flop, you have no idea where you are on the pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bet call on the turn gives you almost no information. I would absolutely value bet the river and fold or re-raise or shove. And please don't think I'm doing this analysis on every single hand I play. I should be, but I'm I'm still getting in the habit of doing it myself. <clears throat> it's easy to do when you're like sitting here and you have no time bank and you know. I think this is I think I remember this hand and I think I uh I looked fifty seven big, fifty four bigs, twenty five bigs. Maybe I can set mine here. Oh yes, 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 this is a call. The only reason it's not a call is if you think that the big blind's going to just shove here really, really wide. And then I don't know what I did here, but this is such a good flop, <laughs> right? Um, they have a king or nothing, right? It's a good flop, but it's not. I mean, they're going to have sevens, eights, nines, tens in their range, especially the under the gun. <laughs> I mean, once they check, it's it's less likely, but like... I de you could definitely, I mean, so like this guy, like now you just, I mean, his range is infinite, right? Right. King Deuce is in his range. Like, yeah, this is, this is kind of a tough one. Yeah, I'm fine with that fold. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that that, that flop is that good. Now, if you had position on everybody, it's better. But, yeah. Because, you know, you can always just like float one street and then see what happens on the turn. But like, you can't call that out of position and then it just puts you in a dicey spot. I'm fine with that. I think you played it perfect. You lost them in again. Oh, th <laughs> this is one of those hands where I'm like, I have ace four here against a bunch of limpers, and I flop an ace. I, I I'm I'm still fine with the fold. I don't I don't <laughs> love that position that much, honestly. Like against against three other hands, like it's one of those spots where it's gonna be hard to realize your equity. Yeah. And when a two comes, it's not like you're going to get paid off dramatically. Somebody's going to spew off with ace 10. B Millie. <coughs> What's up? So, ace nine off suit here versus this guy. Okay. Versus our friend. What are we, 38 big, big, big blinds deep? All right. Yeah, 38 deep. I think I'm going to just call here. Um,. But I, like I can it. also see it. I can also see a uh, me three betting. Um, so forty big blinds again. This is a spot where we can three bet light and put them in an awkward spot stack size. So I like both options. Now it changes things. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I, I think I think I think I like that better than four betting once he comes along for the ride. Yep. Oops. Wow, that's huge. No, 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 3,500 <laughs> is the, I'm sorry, that's not that huge. <clears throat> Let me just take it down. Nice. B. Millie, how's my boy doing tonight? Is he grinding? Is he doing good? Well, Bill, B. Millie is crazy six. Uh, your boy is crazy six, is there, right? Yeah, B. Mill is his, uh, is his main mod. <coughs> Helped him get his HUD set up and what, or uh, the overlay and whatnot. He's the, he's the man behind the curtain. <coughs> okay, two limps into my big blind. I check. Okay, yep. I'm going to check, probably check fold here. I hope you don't fold if people cramp bets. If he, if the other guy bets, sure. Yeah, there you go. The Oz, right? I think I fold here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Patsy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant if people champ bet, like we're in position on people's champ, like definitely would what fold. What is champ, other... champ bet? Oh, people's champ. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, I would hope I'm... you would float against him. <laughs> I thought you said if people champ bet and I'm oh. like that's a phrase I've never heard what is champ betting <laughs> it's like Batau but just <laughs> yeah, exactly, in reverse exactly. I gotta look it up <laughs> I <can> google it <laughs> yeah cause you have a ton of backdoor equity like you could float him really really light there and you may even be ahead with the bottom pair right 
And now we're at a point where we're 40 big blinds deep. He's 50 big blinds deep. Like, this is a huge pot. If we can get him to stack off against us, yeah, yeah. it's huge. So you're – yeah, okay, good. So king nine suited yep. raising here? Yep, yep, easy, easy, easy raise. Get called. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's living life good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is there any spot you don't see bet here? When you say any spot I don't see bet, you mean are you talking about flops or are you talking about my range? No, no, no. I'm like your range. Is there any? Um, uh, is there any, like so? I guess is there any situation? Do you balance your C betting with top pair, um, second top kicker here against this flop, or do you C bet pretty much all the time with this hand? So uh, raise your edge <sighs> is ninety percent C betting in position, forty percent out. So I think I'm I, I button versus big blind on a dry board like this is <clears throat> I'm probably C betting one hundred percent of my range. Right. So if he calls, is he calling because he doesn't believe you or because he hit a piece of that? Um, I mean, like, we don't expect him to have a lot of threes and fours in his range here. I mean, he is a pretty deep stack. So I guess I guess I guess we could say his range is really pretty wide. Um, so far over 72 hands, though, he's 13, 9, what, like 11 there. Thirteen nine seven. Yeah, so like generally pretty tight. Like I, I mean, but but here's the thing too. Like we don't necessarily have to figure out what he has here on the flop. Like if we bet on the flop and he calls us, like let's just say he bets on the flop. We bet on the flop. He calls and the turns a queen. Right now, like a, a a percentage of his floating range there just took another hit. Right. So because like. Like, let's say we bet here he calls, like, and a queen comes. Like, most of his nines now have an over to the board. If he had pocket eights, pocket sevens, pocket six, pocket fives, hands like four, five, four, six, nine, eight. Like, there's, there's just a ton of hands now that have added pressure. So, like, just because he calls on the flop doesn't mean, like, oh, he flopped a set. Now we got to panic, right? Um, and the other thing is, like, we have positions. So, like, he's going to check almost any turn. So now, like, we, we always have the option to check and see the see the flop on the river and play pot control. So, like, uh, yeah, I'm see betting 100% of hands here. Like, I'm not worried about a call. I'm much more worried about our check raise. Like, the check raise is the scary thing here, right? Um, so, yeah, 100% here. So and I'm having some – I might be having some internet problems at the moment because you're going in and out. Oh, really? And my stream helped. Has gone from has gone to oh now it's back to green. It was red for a good portion there. I heard everything you said, but um, <clears throat> but it was uh it was dicey. So before you so, click, before you click, don't click yet. So what would you size here? I I know what I'm gonna size, but <laughs> what I should size is bigger. I should size like two thirds. I actually like smaller. I think. You like smaller because you're going for value. Well, yeah, like I, I think I want calls from the two overs because like we block like we block some of the two over hands that are out there. Like there's overs that are good for us. Like I, I don't know. I, I think I like I think I like a I think I like like an eight thousand bet. Like he's not gonna have a lot of threes or fours in his hand. Um but I don't know. I'm not hundred percent decided on it. Like that's my gut feeling is I like lighter. Like I like I like going like maybe like nine K here. Um, but I'm not confident in that. That's just, that's just my gut feeling. Okay. Well, we did go half pot because yeah, we love that. that half pot button. But I mean, I, I mean, there is some merit too to you know, like, well, like we don't want Jack Ten to get there, for example, or whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. So uh, either way, we'll see what happens. Does he fold? Yeah, he folds. Yeah, he just folds. And since we used all our run good early, now we are card dead as all get out. Oh, but this is a hand on the cutoff. Yep. Oh, what am I going to? Nope, not going to play that. <laughs> as soon as you saw the purple chip come out, it's like <laughs> those fluorescent chips are dangerous. I'm trying to remember where I was playing where like the chip colors were like so bad. It was like, I'm trying to even remember what it was, but it was like, there were uh i can't remember it was like there were two different colored chips that were striped opposite of each other and so it was like really hard to tell the difference between the 10k and 100 chips like they looked almost identical 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. horrible. All right, so queen seven. You have this hand here for some reason. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know. I I'm I'm just looking. I was looking at the size of my blinds to figure out if I played a hand, and the previous hand went from forty big blinds to thirty two, and the reason is like the the um. And he kicked it. Yeah, it went up to five k. The the blinds kicked up. So, like, I didn't know what happened here. But as soon as I see this guy opens, um, queen seven suited, I think is, uh, I mean, I, I think. I love a call here. Love a call. Love a call against this player, especially. Second Ooh. pair. Uh, Nubian queen says, on the last hand with the king nine, the flop was nine, three, four. Let's say the turn was a queen. Should you check it back or bet? I'm definitely betting a queen there. Um, because and, and and the reason you're betting a queen there is because you block king queen, you block, uh, well you block king queen basically right. We block king queen. We can get value from jack ten. Um, I think <laughs> that um, like you don't see ace queen in his range because he right. probably would have raised that pre so we can sort of remove that from his range and we're balancing it with spots like you know where like ace queen would bet there right or ace or sorry not ace queen but like maybe you right because ace queen ace is jack. definitely in our range but not in his right 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 right. so like there's a lot of air that you would see bet since we're since we're see betting 100 percent of flops we need to be turn betting like any of our scare cards in position there so if we're like we're just kind of balancing our range out there so yeah i i think i think it's a bet on the turn if it was an ace, I'm probably still betting it. I think it's an ace is better for our range than it is for his there. Like honestly, like I'm probably I'm probably barreling any card <coughs> over a nine. Um I mean that doesn't mean we're not gonna run into it sometimes, but like I'm I don't I don't have a reason to slow down on an over card. Uh, unless, like, I'm just trying to pot control because I'm afraid, like, maybe against a reckless play. Like, if you're up against a player that's going to check raise you a lot, like, that's the only reason I would check on an overcard there. So this, this, this I'm intrigued. So, so. I really hope he bets and you call here. Oh, well, I think that, I think that that's the bare minimum that's going to happen. But right. I also have, a, I also have a feeling that like a check raise might be coming. Look at his stack. Like, sure. I just did ch check call. I love it. I think I remember this hand. I think I got to get it in here. So, again, here's my question. Why do you think you need to get it in here? Because I think I've got the best hand. Okay, so, like, you, you're, you like, big on getting it in when you have the best hand. So, like, when you get it in here, what do you think is calling you? Well, obviously a king's calling me. A flush draw might call me. Um, pretty much better hands are calling me. Like, like, yeah, like basically, you're, you're. If you jam here, the only, the only hand that is that's calling me that's worse is probably a flush draw. Right. And again, how many flush draws are there that, like, now, like, because you're in a weird way, your flush draws are blocked, right? Ace right. king of clubs, king queen of clubs, king <laughs> jack of clubs. So like. I get what you're saying, but like you're you're gonna end up value owning yourself a lot here when you when you get in these spots and try and jam. I think I think you can call here again. Um, that is what I did. Good. Well, now I got a call. This is this is a clear call because there's. I mean, he's just betting so small. Yep. So what do you do if he jams river here? I probably fold. Okay. Um I don't think a jam river here is the same as like you coming over the top. Like calling a jam river here is not the same as shoving on the turn. Um because there's definitely going to be some bluffs in his range that would jam so like i can go either way like i don't mind a fold on the river if he jams i don't mind a call um because obviously like there's there's definitely some flush draws here that would that would have to jam this river right um right. your queen jack your jack tens like i so i'm good either way um yeah i think i agree like this is a snap call for the sizing that he's putting out and this is another note you make right like he went one fifth pot on the river 
with worse than a seven. Yeah. I'm only jamming. Are, are you talking about jamming out of position? Or are you talking about check raising BG? I don't know that I like a GM because keep in mind, like it looks like a missed flush, but our jam looks like a missed flush too. So <coughs> I don't know that we're, I mean, unless you think he's crying, calling you with like ace high. Right, right, right. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You're on it, BG. Yeah. Like I, I just think, I think, I think this is fine as played. And at this point, like when you win that hand, like you got to know, like he's trying not like he's trying to win, but he's scared to lose chips. Like my three betting range just got insane against him now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. King queen of clubs is blocked by the board. Or not blocked by the board. It's go back. Um, blocked wasn't the right turn. No, 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 no. Like, um, I said that wrong. No, king queen, king queen of clubs isn't blocked by the board, but um, it you know it's hard it. for him to have a king here, and there's only two kings available, right? So if it's hard for him to have a king here, it's harder for him to have the king of clubs, right? Right. Like we were talking about, like so busted flush draws. I, so now, now I get. There's no busted flush draws that have a king in it because he's got trips. So it doesn't count as a busted flush draw. So that's that's what I was trying to say, right? So, like, if, if he's got ace, king of clubs, king, queen of clubs, king, jack of clubs, he's already ahead. So it doesn't count as a busted flush draw. I just said it horribly. <laughs> yep, I'm good with that. Uh oh, I feel a fold coming. That's oh fine. no, I raised it. Oh look at that! Now I feel a fold coming. Um, this so is close. So it costs me. Uh, let's see, sixty-two. This is close. <laughs> Minus thirteen is forty-nine to win eighty-seven. This is close. You're getting. I think it says 1.77 to one up there. Yeah, it does. So like, generally, like, I think I'm definitely snapping <laughs> off here at two to one. I'm snapping or higher. So like, this is. If if you think he's really loose, then I think you can make a call here. Otherwise, it's probably just on the fold side of the line, but it's close. So that's fine. Wait a minute. I don't think I did. Oh, I got no. I I did defend. Why did I f defend against this guy? I don't. I have know. no reason to defend against this guy. You should be defending wide in general. Like, I haven't got. I haven't dug into the numbers on it yet. But I would. I mean, this is an easy defense for me, regardless of who the opponent is. Okay. Because you're just getting such good implied odds, right? So he bets half pot, okay. and I've got an open ended straight draw. Yep. Um. I don't really like a check raise here because um, there's an awful lot of – he's got a lot of queens, a lot of tens in his hand that um, the check raise is going to be um, – the, right, the point of the check raise here would be to take my equity now with the open-ended straight draw, open-ended straight draw and the backdoor flush draw. Um, so I think, I, just, I think a flat here is the right, is the right call. Yep, yep, yep. I think you block a ton of the draws. Um, I mean, you block some of his queens and tens too, but like, like he's going to be more pair heavy here than he's going to be like draw heavy, right? So, right. Yeah, I like this. So good. Okay. Check. <clears throat> I think I fold here. And the reason I think I fold is because, okay, I believe you, and I can either try and um, uh, 
raise you off, but the, I'm not getting the right odds to see, to like to hit my, like it's, I'm getting three to one here. And um, so I am getting the right odds actually. So I need 20% equity and, or like 19% equity and I'm getting 25. So I should call, but I think I fold. I think you got it backwards. Like you've only got 19% equity, so you'd want your odds to be five to one here if you're not counting any implied odds in the river. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I do have it backwards. Um, but like, I, I think the bigger thing here is because we're out of position, it's really hard to realize equity here. Cause like when the turns an eight or the turns or the rivers an eight or river to king, like you're going to have to bet really thin for value. I mean, I don't know, maybe, right. maybe a king you could get some nice value from. <laughs> Like you can't just look at the pot odds. You got to look at the implied odds too. What are you doing if this, right. if this is the four clubs? Oh, I'm definitely folding. Really? Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry because I've got the nine of clubs. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't really think even with the nine of clubs, the nine of clubs, even if a a fourth club comes off, like I'm not really loving the nine of clubs. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it depends on his bet sizing and how he reacts and everything too, right? Um, but I, I don't think we want to assume that he's on a flush draw here. Like a flush draw is going to be a smaller percentage of his range, especially against more recreational players who aren't so weighted, so flush heavy. So, Yeah, I, I could – I mean, I could just tell that yeah. I folded this, this yeah, yeah. Um, turn bet. <laughs> Hey, there's a pretty hand. Three bet incoming. That's my prediction. I mean, look at my stats like this. 17, 12, 9. Mm -hmm. I am knitting it up. Oh. Wow. I didn't mean a three bet from somebody else. <laughs> I meant a three bet from me. Um. Uh, eight more minutes, dear. I don't know what I do here. I think I folded. To be honest with you, I think I folded. Um. Nine high like a boss. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I did fold. It was one of those where I looked at it and thought for a long time, "What in the heck do I do with this?" So, what do you? What's your fifteen big blind jamming range there? My 15 big blind jamming range yeah. is certainly a lot of pocket pairs. Um, ace king, ace queen. Yeah, ace jack's in there too. So is against the right players, ace 10. Uh, uh, maybe not ace 10. So this sounds like it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and you know, like this is for about half my stack, sure. right? So part of part of my uh, thought here was like, I can find a better spot for half my stack. I mean, I I don't love that reasoning, but like I, I get what you're saying. Like I think because like if this is like the the scary thing is like, there, you definitely have to take some shots in some spots, right? Especially in these bigger tournaments because we got to build some huge spots. So like, if you think you're ahead of his range here, like. You could you can get a better spot that'll never come, right? Yeah, um, that's true. Nubian Queen, that's awesome. Definitely invest in that, right? No worries, Jungle Pork. Uh, glad you got to be a part of our other things. So like, I, like I wouldn't do it based on that, but like this is close. So like, if you don't if you don't have any inclinations, you know, like you can lean towards folding. What are you doing if get the money doesn't raise here and he just jams open jams fifteen big blinds? I'm probably calling there. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so you're giving a little bit more strength to the fact that he's opening into somebody. Yeah, because I, I definitely think you have to ISO against a 15 big blind shove there. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't mind the fold. I don't know that I, – I just don't want you to get in the trap of thing, like, well, I can find a better spot. Because sometimes, like, we we get in the habit of, like, think that we use that as an excuse to fold because we're uncomfortable or we're worried that we're going to blow our chips off, and we lose equity spots. And I, 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 say that from, I, I do that. N. 
Sorry, what? sorry. I, I sorry. I I forgot that when I mute my I muted my stream, but I didn't mute you. I oh, was no spelling something for my wife. Um. So like I, that's a mistake I make. So like just just be careful not to like <coughs> level yourself into like folding too much because you think there's a better spot coming. Well, no, 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 no. I I that I understand. That I understand. It's just like it's an expensive. It's an expensive. It it's like. It puts me down to 20 bigs if I'm wrong, right? It's just really expensive to, and I still have a lot of stack utility with 36 big blinds. Sure, but like at 20 big blinds, you've got a nice open uh, reshove stack that can easily become a 40 big blind stack again. So like. <coughs> True. Like, it, like it, let's say, okay, so let's say People's Champ had 15 big blinds here and shoved. Are you reshoving oh, that, That's different. <laughs> okay, good. All right, good. So you have a you have a range here where you're reshoving on 15 big blinds. So that, that's good. Right. It's just that, like, I don't know anything about this guy. Yeah. Right? I have no, I, I, I just, I've got nine hands on him. Right. If People's Champ is doing this, it's a different story altogether. Right, right, right. So I, I think against the range that you said you'd, you'd jump with here, like, it's really close. It's probably a flip. So, cool. You got time for one more? Yep. All right. Find, find one more good one. And I, I'll just say this while you're looking. I hope you understand that, like, there is, like, dude, the difference between your December and my December is I got a lot of volume. And the difference between your January and my January, are it's so small, bro. It's, it's, it's little small things that you've already taken good notes on. And you'll think about until 3 in the morning tonight. And you'll think about at work tomorrow. And... Just like me, you're gonna start doing them. You're gonna start seeing differences. Yeah, yeah. So, so none of this weak player bull crap. I, I will not listen. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I'm still not buying it, but okay. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not willing. I'm willing to not argue with you on this topic. So king nine off from the button. Twenty three bigs, forty eight bigs. If Whoops shoves his uh, 23 bigs. I'm probably just um, crying and folding. Right. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I would expect, yeah, I'm probably just folding to any three bet, actually. But I take it down. Take it down. Please fold. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think you were calling? There are times when I like get into a place where I'm like, you know what? I'm raising 10 Jack. <laughs> just feeling froggy. I'm just feeling froggy <laughs> and it happens. <clears throat> it's not happening. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one to end on here. Geeks had a lot of coolers. Well, so he says you need to ship one. You've had a cooler in the 109. I said, yeah. Oh gosh, like I got cooler in this one. Well, cooler is wrong. I got sucked out on badly yeah, in this was, at the end was, of this. It one. was a horrible call. Horrible call. Well, I, I, at the time, I loved it, but you know, it is right. what it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I remember this hand. I remember this hand. I time banked on this one. I remember it too. Like you have no idea. I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do here? I was yelling at the screen. What do I do here? <laughs> um, what I know I did was I ripped. Yeah. And um, and they both called. Yep. So this you is, remember this hand I when do. you said this is a good one to end on? You remembered it at that yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because because this is this is reminiscent of the hand I had in the millie where I shoved the queens and got called in two spots. Or no, it was a little different. I got shoved in two spots and had to call with the queens, but it was like the same premise, right? Like you're, yeah, you're yeah. getting in a like a three way all in here with like what what's I mean it's not a marginal hand, but it feels like it once you get called in three spots or the, the two spots. So yeah, like I love that I love this reship here. Um, and ironically, this is very similar to the ace queen hand, right? When you think okay, about it, how so? Well, it was a raise and a shove. Oh, exactly. true. That's a little bit different, but this is this is a fifteen big blind shove. It's a, it's a little bit bigger. This is more like what he's got seventeen bigs, um, and you're basically swapping jacks for ace queen. Right, right. But obviously, jacks 
have more equity than ace queen, right? Like <coughs> they're gonna dominate a lot of middle pocket pairs, so it's not it's not the same hand. Oh, he did fold. I thought you tripled up here. Ace eight. Oh wow. my gosh. That no, I thought that I thought this was a triple up hand too. I thought this was the triple up because I, I remember that one. I remember there was one where yeah, I tripled up. I did too. So this wasn't it. So so now having seen that people will rejam fifteen big blinds with ace eight, how do you feel about your ace queen fold? Not so good. <laughs> I Not mean so good. the the stack dynamics are a little bit different there. Um but like this is where like now the guy that shoved earlier, Ace absolutely couldn't have Ace eight in his shove range. He might have a much tighter shove range, and this guy may be like a super aggro. But right, like we, right. But like, I don't think you can always assume that when you don't know something that like they're like, wow, that's there's no way that's in his range. So well, the, here's here's a difference though. I've got 191 hands on this guy, and he's shoving 10 of seven, 13 percent, 10 of 78 opportunities. He's he's three bet, right? So like. From what I like, I sort of look at a three betting range of seven to eight percent as being kind of the the uh, the range where um, good players are three betting a lot, and on um, thirteen is just huge. That's just a huge three bet number. Okay, but and here's so, the question. Here's one question for you: How many of those three bets happened with a fifteen big blind stack? True, I don't know that. That I don't know. I'll bet you it's pretty small. Right, because like you're not three betting from three from fifteen big blinds very often, and staying in the tournament. Like you're either doubling up or you're out. So you don't just keep three betting from a fifteen big blind set. So just remember, like you can look at three bet stats and they have text context, but when you get to these stack sizes, like that that number just doesn't have near as much weight as it does like at other stack sizes. No, that's true. That's true. A thirteen percent three bet with a two hundred big blind stack is totally different right. than a thirteen percent three bet with um fifteen big blinds. Right, right, right. So, like, it, I think you can widen his range, but like, I like I, that's and again, I make this mistake. Like, I get I get so locked in on the stats, and I think that getting away from my HUD a little bit has helped me. Um, so, what really quick before you go, what <coughs> thirty seconds or less? What is what happens when you ask uh, what's his face about a HUD? Snost. What happens? When, oh, it says I don't. Oh, it says um all all dim numbers confuse me or something like that. He he's got a little thing that says uh uh I'm too old for all dim numbers or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it says, but something along those lines. He doesn't use a HUD at all, and the guy is a crusher. Just crushes. Yeah, people. yeah. he yeah, is a yeah. really good player. Yeah, it, it's been interesting. Like since I've started getting away from the HUD, I've been having more. And, and there's definitely times to use it, and there's definitely no brainer times to use it, but. Uh, it's it's been it's been an easier flow for me so try to maybe try to just use it a little bit less and see what you feel like yeah you, you may mm -hmm. hate it you may like it but it I've, I've actually liked it um well it's funny because like i feel like i don't use it enough my instinct is i, I just don't use it enough i i ignore times when i could be um uh making more informed reads on a player than and, and i just don't use it enough but you know i don't know i, I would i would take the uh I would take the over on that one. Hmm. <laughs> well, dude, this has been fun. I know you need this to get has some been rest. Really fun. And, and we really need to do fun. this again. I think I think chat enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm gonna kick it over to Crazy Sixes again. But we had fun in the after party yesterday, so I think I'm gonna go over there again and rock it out today. Yeah, I think uh, let's double host him. Let's double host him, guys. Thank you so much, and uh, um, I'll be back at some point this week. Geek, are you coming back at some point this week? Oh uh, yeah, I should be. I should be. So hopefully I will be coming to you guys from from Evansville if I don't get sick here like the rest of my family, and maybe we'll take down a live tournament now. Oh, bink it, brother, bink it! All right, guys, we'll see you soon. All right, peace out.